All right, guys. So first things first, um, we need to go ahead and install Python. So we just need to go over to the python.org downloads and then Python 350. I'll provide this link in the um, the description. And we're going to use the 64-bit um, version, the web-based installer. And we do want to add it to the path. So this is going to take just a few minutes for it to install, and I'll be pausing the video in between um, while while this thing installs. So after it installs, um, it's going to ask you if you want to restart, and that really sucks. So I'll go ahead and um, just take care of that now. All right, so um, now that the computer restarted, it seems like it's been an hour because I had to do a Windows update, and I could not uh, just jump right into this. But anyway, so um, after like an hour, uh, this thing has restarted now, and... Um, and Python, because of our installation directory, I put it under our um, users directory, so users and then your username, app data, local programs, Python, Python 35. Um, now, you notice, um, if or if you did notice, that we did say add it to the path, which was a uh, checkbox on the install um, window. And it did add it to the path, but the problem is if you have multiple versions of Python like I do, um, you can see, well, actually, I have Python... I have multiples. I have uh, under my C drive. I have both Python 27 and Python 3.4, and I have it set up so that if I open up a command prompt, I can do it as admin or not. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I like how admin has a bigger font um, adjusted for me. So I have uh, if I type Python, it's actually going to find the first available Python on the path, which is 278, because I already had that installed. Um, so what I want to be able to do is type Python 35 to be able to differentiate between the two. You shouldn't have to do that if this is the only version of Python that you have, but in my case it's not. So let me go back to that folder um, where it installed to, which is like I said, this huge long path. And I want to change the name of the Python application here. I'm just going to rename it to Python 35. That way it's you know 3.5 and hopefully people know that. So if I type now Python 35, you can see that it did find the right Python location because this is the first Python application um, that matches you know, the keyword Python 35. So anyway, that is how you're going to end up doing it if you have multiple versions of Python installed in your machine. Um, now Python comes with an editor, which is pretty cool. Now, um, there's two things in Python. So the way we launched uh, Python before, this is called our shell. And we can actually execute Python code from within this little command line thing. Um, but it's, it's, I guess it's efficient for just fast calculations, like um, 8 times 8 will calculate to 64. So you can just, I'm not sure why you would ever want to do that. But, I mean, it is sometimes helpful. I've never really used it that way. But it's one of the selling points for some reason. Um, so quick and dirty calculations or quick and dirty test code, this shell is a, a good thing to use. Um, now, Python also has a uh, built-in editor, not really built-in, but it comes with the installation. And an editor is a program that you use to write code. It actually makes writing code a lot easier. Um, there's very expensive editors. I actually um, recommend the one that I have in the description, which is PyCharm. That's kind of the industry st uh, standard with Python. but. Um, I personally also like Visual Studio because I use Visual Studio for a lot of web-based stuff, a lot of C-sharp stuff, and um, it's really just a superb ap application. I'm not a big, you know, Microsoft guy either, so, um, you know, I, I say that uh, even though I don't think Microsoft, you know, the world of Microsoft, but um, the editor that comes with Python is called Idle. It's not that great, but it is, you know, something. It's better than nothing, and for the start of this tutorial series, we're going to be using Idle. So um, idle can be found under your install directory under the lib folder, which is short for library. 
and inside of there um, you're going to see an idle lib so we're going to open that and then if you're on windows like i am um, you need to go ahead and launch the there's an idle uh, like uh what is the extension here it's a pyw file or something let me see Yeah, PYW file. So you're going to want to not do the idle.py file, but the idle PYW. And this is your editor now. So it actually starts by using the default shell shell format. But um, what we can do is we can actually create new files here. And then this gives us like Python. Uh, so it gives you the different color code and stuff like that. It actually makes developing in Python a little bit easier. So it's not the best editor, but it is good enough for you know getting your feet wet with Python. All right, guys. So this is a video that's going to wrap up how to actually install Python. We're using Windows, but um, a similar process for Mac or Linux. And you know, once again, if you have two versions of Python, make sure you rename Python 35 so it can differentiate itself from. Um, whatever sort of older Python installation you may have. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.